Morning. Hi, Karen. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. Yes, it's sun shining and hair's cut. Um, Yay! Yeah, thank goodness for that. I can stand up now. It's got yeah. some weight on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh perhaps we should introduce ourselves because i know that we have got more viewers listeners however you want to phrase it um so karen who are you i'm i'm karen george oh. i'm karen george art or trend jewelry designs and i paint um acrylic landscapes and seascapes with loads of sky normally big sky big sky what about you <laughs> Yeah, again, Levitt Jakes, again, Levitt Jakes Art. Um, I think on Twitter and Instagram, I'm Gainer LJ Art. Um, and basically, I paint, well, mainly with oils, but I'm kind of transitioning into the acrylic world at the moment. Um, but yeah, I paint both abstracts and realistically realism um, from mainly inspired by nature. So that's, and we both live in the West Country in England, the UK. And I actually, do you want to give a shout out to a couple of people who have reached out to us late, lately? Yeah, no, it's on, we put, posted on Instagram that we've got new episodes uploaded and we had some um, lovely comments back from Helen in Toronto. So we're international mm -hmm. now. And Carol Ann, who's in um, the US. Yeah. Um, but she used to live in Cheltenham, so local girl, really. But That's very nice. Yeah, I used to work in Cheltenham many moons ago, and it's, it's such a beautiful, beautiful place to be. So yeah. for those of you who haven't been there, go and visit or Caroline. I think it's worth, actually, their work is lovely, absolutely lovely. Yeah, um, it is. So, I mean, I think Caroline's more representational, um, mm -hmm. and Helen is... Um, sort of more sort of landscapes sort of abstract landscapes but it's yeah. evolving because she seems to be doing the um nicholas wilton course i think yeah. she is that which is awesome. nice because yeah. it's coming to an end soon it's um really. yeah it's a beginning of june i think the first of june i think is probably the end so only another week oh, and yeah. uh what an experience i would strongly recommend it to anybody yeah I can't um, feel your stuff. Well, I've I've not actually um, produced anything much new recently because I am just experimenting like crazy, and it's it's just lovely. We um, both you and I love to kind of have a challenge and change things up and yeah. try different things, different medium. Um, so yeah, that's been fun, and you know, life is changing and evolving now, which brings us, I suppose to our main subject of the day. No, we thought it'd be a good idea, didn't we, to talk about sort of getting back into the real world as an artist. Yeah. Because we've both got real events coming up and real workshops as well. Yeah. You know, and I didn't realize how rusty I was in terms of a, an exhibition. So I've got one this coming weekend. And I mean, you're, you're dropping work off as well aren't you for it I am I am but it was all the things sort of looking and thinking right okay where is the browser <laughs> and it's do you know what my browser my table some table easels and the stepladder are still in the roof box of my car <laughs> really from last time out. yeah I've never got the well, that's handy yeah, Maybe that should be their normal storage place because they're ready. They're ready. <laughs> but it's ridic a bit, bit ridiculous, isn't it? I was like, yeah. where are they gone? And I thought, hmm, actually, when did I last see them? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's crazy times, isn't it? Yeah, I must admit we've, um, during lockdown, yeah. um, <laughs> we sorted out, I've got a storage shed where I keep everything. And so I know where my browser is. I know where my easels are. You know, my little presentational yeah. easels are living. Um, and I, I know that this tidy shed, my husband, my darling husband, who likes tidy, 
will have a meltdown because I'll upset his structure and everything else, all the tidiness will go. Because when I put them back, they won't go back nearly as well as when he put them in 12 months ago. <laughs> so yeah, because I'm more, mm, yeah, laissez-faire I think is the phrase. Yeah, well you can see from the background in this shot, I'm not exactly tidy myself. So, um, mm. but I've been moving stuff around thinking I'm taking that not taking that and sort of yeah. separating things out in the studio. Yeah, me too. Just getting a, an idea of what I'm taking. Yeah. And remembering to sort of how to, remembering how to sort of mount and wrap, <laughs> wrap work in the browser. And yeah. you know, wishing that I'd bought a sharper blade for the standing knife and things like that. You know, yeah. Just thinking, ah, right, okay, that's another thing for the list. Do you know what I had to find the little hook things oh cup hook things yeah the yeah no ones yeah you don't need those oh don't we no because they have um they have a, a bar and they provide the hooks Hurrah! and then there's those um wires that come down with little hooks on you just need to string make sure all the paintings are strong yeah they're strong that's okay that's that bit's done they're framed and strong yeah no yeah maybe we should mention where where our work will be this weekend yes it's going to be in west barn in bradford avon and for those of you who don't live in the uk and don't know bradford avon google it because it is such a picturesque little town and i will make a confession i once cycled into the canal in bradford avon <laughs> true story <Are> you drunk <laughs> no I'd forgotten how to ride a bike. So I kind of went down the incline <laughs> and ended up like that Very in the bike. Um, literally amongst the reeds and I was hanging onto a, a barge and this poor lady was having her lunch on her barge. And she came around and she said, are you okay? I was like, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> and my husband got off his bike, laid our son on the side. He was in a cycle, um, cycle seat. What, on um, the back of the bike? Ben was on the back of the bike on a cycle seat at the time and Steve just kind of took hold of my hands and pulled me upright and the bike was still in between my legs. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm not doing this. I'd forgotten how to ride a bike. And that was the last time I went on a bicycle. Oh, um, but it is beautiful. And I walk around Bradford Avon frequently, yeah. but I will never cycle it again. So, yeah, so just along from the canal, we'll be at West Barn. Yeah, and it's, it's lovely because... It's right just across from the Tithe Barn, which it is, is a beautiful. beautiful structure. I mean, real mm. worth a, a visit. And there's mm. lots of um, sort of little cafes and really good walking, sort of along the yeah. river and then back along the canal. It's really beautiful. And then you can come in and see us. There's Woo! five of us yeah. going. So there's um, Kate Westfort, yeah, who's organising it. Her, actually, the wire work that she's doing at the moment is breathtaking. I know. And that, if you're on Instagram, go and have a look at Kate, Kate Westcott's work. Yeah, she what Kate Westcott three, I think, on Instagram, something like that. Yeah. And um, just trying to think. And then there's An Andrew Edelston and mm -hmm. uh, Nat Natty Deco. Yeah. Which um, I think does laser cut sort of wood pieces, and then obviously our friend Gina. Yeah. who probably regular viewers or listeners will know Gina because um, she pops up frequently in our chats because she's one of our um, Monday morning calls for our accountability calls every week, which, yeah. you know, if you haven't seen or listened to previous episodes, go back because actually they're really useful things to do with okay. your colleagues. Anyway, so accountability call today effectively is how the heck do we prepare for this well I've been thinking I've been trying to I mean I've got the benefit that I know there's the venue mm -hmm. but I know there's a bit more space than we thought because now rather than having a sales table I believe that we're all taking our own money um oh, okay so effectively we've got an extra table space mm -hmm. wall space to actually hang work so I'm going to just so take a few more pieces, but I'm mm -hmm. just I'm just mapping out in my in my mind, thinking what work goes together. So yeah. I've got my nice new piece, the can you hear the we re re reeds reeds whispering? <laughs> <laughs> um, I love that piece. Yeah. 
I mean, I think there's always pieces that you think, oh, I like that. So I like that one. And then mm. I've got pieces that I'm going to try and try and almost have a, a cohesive group of paintings color wise. Yeah. So I'm bringing in, I've got sort of smaller pieces that are of the same palette. Yeah. And then <clears throat> I've got some, I mean, that's all sort of golds and plums and purples. Beautiful. Whites and greys. So I'm aimed at, but I have got some um, new work that's in blues. Mm. Which I might take and then just see how they look. And it might yeah. be that they go elsewhere in the halls as a group rather than yeah. spoiling the sort of group. I might actually bring yeah. in some of my mixed media work, which is all sort of purples and sort of greens. Which oh, might love. be a nice, I don't know, might sort of link in better. Yeah. With the piece. But so that's what I'm thinking in terms of sort of what you call it, paintings to take. Yeah. But, and, then, and then thinking, how will I display them? But I'm just making sure that I've, I'll start with one and then just build it, I think. So I think yeah. that would work, work. Yeah. I mean, I think that's what I, I aim to do because obviously I'll be setting up and, and um, putting stuff around because, you know, yeah. real life has hit hard recently in family wise. And um, so trying to balance caring for people and carry on with working meant that my beautiful artist friends and colleagues are going to support my work while it's in the barn. Um, so I'm going to bring it and set up. And I'm going to, and be, I'm, going to be your cash pill. <laughs> you are, hopefully. <laughs> Thank you. And um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to be displaying my, my work myself um, and then hopefully um, pick it up on the, anything that's left, shall we say. <laughs> <laughs> ambitiously <laughs> um pick everything back up again yeah. on the sunday evening but i will be around on the sunday afternoon if there's anybody who actually wants to talk to me as well yeah uh, get over there and have a little chat to some of the people who are visiting which think, would be really nice yeah i think that's the thing i'm lo really looking forward to is actually seeing people and talking about my work um, yeah and i'm also i'm going to be i've done this look how look how clever i am look Oh. oh, you fancy pants person, you. No. That's gorgeous. Thought... For anybody who can't see it, it's a flyer for Karen's art workshops. It's a poster, actually. It's a poster. A poster. It's A4, A4. A4. It's A4, and I'm just going to be, have it sort of more upright so that when people see the table, they yeah. see the little poster about it, and then the flyers will just be laid flat beneath it. What so, a lovely idea. I just thought, got to use the opportunity to promote the work. But I was thinking of taking yeah. sketchbooks, but I don't think COVID-wise it's sensible to have people flicking through your books at the moment. No, probably not. But I can probably talk not. about them. I can talk Absolutely. about them. Absolutely. Absolutely. I was actually going to say something about your workshops as well. I think when people see your work and they kind of do that whole, I wish I could paint... I, and but often when you're in an exhibition yeah. and you're talking to other people who are coming by and yeah. they want to understand your work, you don't always get a chance to speak to the other people around you, you know, who might, might be lingering and hoping for a quick word, but you know, their family's there. And, uh, yeah. and so it, it's quite nice to actually have some information on display so that they can just pick it up and take it if they want to. Yeah. And that's, that's nice. Um, yes, yeah, so what else do you need to remember for the weekend? I think I've got, so I've got the work. I'm going to, I'm going to do where you've got kind of a cohesive body of work. I kind of have a split personality. Um, we know this. <laughs> we know this. I, <laughs> yeah, I, you don't need to say anything. It's fine. I've got, um, I love, I love abstract and working in the abstract I just can't stop myself and it's kind of where I go to but I also love there's times when I just want to do representational work as well and so I have these two sides of me and so I'm hoping that I'll be able to make a display that offers the opportunity to see both and I'm not sure if I've got a, I think I might have a corner space I'm not entirely sure and if I do I'll kind of sit them on separate walls otherwise I'll leave like somewhat of a gap and 
have both offerings on display. Um, but yeah, I've got a couple of quite large pieces. There's one especially that I did last summer that I love that I'd, I'd really like to kind of base some of my floral and representational work around. And I think it will, because it's semi-representational, it will sit well in between the representational work and then the abstract. And I think if that's the centerpiece, they'll both flow from it if I need to do it that way. Yeah. It, I suppose it depends on the space, yeah. doesn't it? Sort of Absolutely. Like... So I'll, I'll kind of judge when I get there, but it's one of those things I'm already thinking about and trying to work out how um, how best to sit everything. But yeah, it's exciting being out in the real world again. And it's, it's really nice because I've been thinking just having enough work of a variety of prices. Yeah. Because people aren't necessarily... Um, come into an exhibition and that's it. They've come for a walk and they might. Yeah. And so I've started to sort of think, right, okay, browser work down, you know, sort of, sort of quite inexpensive, affordable, and then yeah. having a range of work that people could actually sort of choose to get. And Absolutely. then, um, and then I've also been thinking in terms of just trying to promote other things. So I'm going to take some, as well as the flyers for the workshops, I'm going to take some little flyers about join my studio newsletter. So. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. So that it's just, I suppose I'm using it as a promoting platform as well. To just it's a really things. good idea. Because people, I think as well, when they do kind of a, oh, there's an exhibition in there, I'll just go and have a little quick nosy. They might not be in buying mode or even you know thinking about their home space where they can display but when they go home they might think actually I really like that piece and it's nice that for them to just have opportunity to engage with you differently yeah so I think that's a really nice idea and actually, also, I also just to have your you know anybody doing it remember your business cards point of contact um and doing things like, I mean, I haven't got all new cards. I was trying to get, I was talking to um, Gina about this. Mm. We've both got new work that we wanted to have ready to show. Yeah. Um, and I had some, I've got some, all my collages from the 100 Day Project, I was going to yeah. actually make um, some different card sets from, um, sort of get them printed. But I want to, I've been trying to source a lovely textured recycled paper for them. Yes. And I thought, do I rush it and just get them printed? And I thought, no, I've got enough cards to do and I can launch yeah. them another time and I'll be happy with when I, you know, launch them rather than yeah. just just to have something else to sell. I thought, no, I, I just want them to look good. Yeah, I just want them to look a certain way. So I, I think that's really important as well, Karen, doing things for the right reason because you know you have got loads of texture and all the stuff that you've been doing it's it's you know it's, it's stepping into a next into the next phase of your career almost and I think that rushing it and diluting it would be a real shame yeah that's all right then feel all right <laughs> feel all right about not having done it yeah well, I don't know I think we can rush to do everything and then you kind of think I wish I'd just waited a month and done it properly you know there's something to be said for it sorry if you can hear a rustling around it's because the dog who is always with us has found a nice bag to shove her face into and throw around the room I apologize she is now scrambling around like a mad thing anyway as always yeah I think diluting um the offering is is crazy really because you know we can rush to do things like wanting to get it out wanting to get it out and it never serves you well no I actually thought I might just hold back completely on them until I promote that In your... range of work as a body so all my collages because I'm thinking how do I best show that and it may be that I mean, I'm thinking about how do I do I group several together? Do I? So I'm thinking, you know, it would lead in and support that work if I just launch those at the same time. So that'd be really nice. Yeah. And I am I am kind of in the back of my mind thinking we do have 
an exhibition coming up, you and I. Yay. Not that long away. Yay. And that might be a nice space as well to actually have include all that collage work because, you know, it is, well, it's really nice stuff. And, you know, you're going to be putting out your new stuff out there yeah. in September. So I know. And it, and it will come around so quick. To think about Absolutely. it. I mean, I want to get this one here, this one finished sort of in the next couple of weeks. Um, now, to me, it looks finished. Oh, it's not, it's not finished. Yet. I love the colour. Mind you, I'm, you know, obviously, I'm looking at it from an angle and far away. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely not finished yet. Mm. But bits, it's, there's bits, it's just not holding together right at the moment. But I'm, Sort of, a, okay. I'm sort of only working on that while I'm doing a commission at the moment. So while the commission's dry, and I will then go and paint on this. Um, but you just have to sort of balance up. It's really tricky, and also sort of with a commission, you're not. I don't want to show any of it on Instagram yet. I know. So I can't show any photos. So it's no. like not doing anything. But I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't even show details because I'm just keeping that all for the client. So I'm showing sort of Me periodically, too. you know, each week sending stuff. And you can't until it's done, and it's you don't want to show no. work part part finished no. when it's a commission, sort of. And the other thing is, you, you kind of I, I know you work in a similar way to me in layer and layer and layer. So you might put out a corner of it and then you think that will never appear in the, in the actual finished piece. <laughs> so it's like there's no connection whatsoever to anything else. Yep. But um, I don't know. Yes, yeah, so we're both working on commissions at the moment. We're both doing um, courses online and such your offering and I'm actually learning. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, I, it's, it's just all good stuff isn't it coming up it is and I think it's I mean I'm I'm really looking forward to these I mean with the workshops I'm just really looking forward to seeing people and actually sharing what I do now so, so what what because you've got two distinct workshops yeah the first one um which still has some spaces on it actually because it's quite soon it's the first of June and that one is creative sketchbooks which is um that one I'm focusing on patterns in nature and oh nice making, mark making and printing into it um, and teaching people how to develop ideas from a starting point in your sketchbook and have that evolve using different methods so mm. that is really I think it's gonna be a really lovely sketchbook workshop really really nice because it gives a degree of freedom that you don't have to do something a certain way it's just yeah. boring and just having the confidence to explore. So yeah. that I think would be really useful. The next one, middle of June, that is a sketchbooks and paintings workshop. So I'm teaching people effectively how to sketch with what I call intent. So that sounds like really the sketch. Yeah. And then use those sketches to then inform teach the work. people how to use the sketches to inform a composition and work how because at the end of the day if you it's all very well taking a photograph mm. but when i when i paint i paint from the feelings i sketch yeah me too folks and i mm. think that really is the the bit if you teach people okay, how to it. capture that feeling mm. and then how to maybe develop that but still retain that feeling, I think then they can go and create whatever work they want. It doesn't yeah. have to be like yours. It's the no. So no, because the emotions are very different. Yeah. You and I both work in, I mean, we're incredibly different artists, let's face it. Yeah. Um, but we both are inspired by nature. Yeah. We both capture stuff in our sketchbooks regarding nature, whether it's, you know, photographs or... Um, the day you know the the dawn for me early morning photographs are just beautiful because there's a freshness about the day yeah. and then we both use that to inspire our work but you wouldn't necessarily see the sketches or the photographs or whatever we've done in our work yeah. you know you wouldn't necessarily see that represented but the emotion it evokes that's what we both try to capture in our work and so, yes, we're very different. And yet 
there are some processes that, you know, we, we are kindred spirits in that way, that we both work from nature. And I can understand, I mean, I, I almost feel that if there was somebody starting out who didn't know, have experience in working with a sketchbook, it almost flows from one to the other, you know, that whole kind of, I can do the sketchbook work and take the inspiration and then how I translate it into a painting to a finished piece. Yeah. Because, you know, I see some people who have done the most beautiful representational work yeah. and it's fabulous, absolutely gorgeous, but it's got no soul yeah. or it's got no emotion to it, but it represents perfectly whatever it was they saw, but there isn't necessarily that depth and that, you know, they aren't in the painting. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a very precious thing to learn is how to put your heart into a painting mm -hmm. rather than just show a painting, you know, just kind of paint. So I think that both of those workshops would really speak to me, really speak to me. So I, I hope, well, I know that people get value because I've, I've watched you teach and it's, it's just a lovely, you know, you like you are now, you're just very, very sweet and, gently guiding people to, to do their own thing. I know you're blushing and you're nearly the same colour as your top, oh, dear. which for those people who are listening and not watching is bright red. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's true, it's, it's, you know, so I hope, I hope that people do sign up and, and go for it because well, they're lovely courses. They are, they are, they are filling up. Um, yeah, I know they are. There's one or two spaces here and there, I think, aren't yeah. there, so. So it's, so it's, but it's really, yeah, I'm really, Please be mm. offer them. It's been really exciting putting the the workshop together, and yeah, it's going to be so exciting when you're sort of there with people to actually you know take people. To I know real life people. It's strange because this is the other big difference between you and I, Karen, is that Karen is the more sociable amongst us, shall we say. <laughs> Karen's a nicer person than I am. For those of you who <laughs> meet us in, in person, Karen loves engaging with people, whereas I'm kind of, hello. And I, yeah, I, I get slightly overwhelmed after a little while, whereas Karen can go for days being nice to people, but I need to run away and hide every now and again. Um, where, you know, this is why Karen teaches and I don't, is because... Karen can engage with people for a longer period than I can. I love people, but then I love kind of hiding too. So whereas Karen is nice and Gaynor is nice. Nice. <laughs> I am. I can be. You are sociable. You are you are always very sociable. You just don't do workshops. No. Yeah. No, I yeah. I don't, maybe it's a confidence thing. I don't know. Anyway, we'll analyse that one another day. But I am very much looking forward. And it's quite close to me. You're going to be actually located in your workshops in Stanton St Quinton, which again is a lovely village in Wiltshire. And I know exactly where you are. And I'm going to visit because it's only 10 minutes from me. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm going to pop up and join in with you because you're, you're offering lunch as well, aren't you? They are, yes. Yeah. So I might just kind of turn up and have a cup of tea with you and see where you're up to. Because I can do sociable that much because I actually, you know, you I actually quite like seeing you. Yeah. Yeah. And it'll be and we'll, coming a long time. I know. You know, it's a long time coming. Mm -hmm. So anyway, what else are you up to this week then? Let's have a quick round up. Right. Do, 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 do. Keep working on the commission. Nice. And keep promoting the workshops nice um i'm just trying to think oh and just really doing this weekend is the exhibition. prep for the exhibition yeah so that's it yeah. so it's quite a sort of uh yeah it's painting based i've got to just do i've got to crack on with commission now yeah me too i did um yesterday it was jab day i'm now double jabbed woo yeah go you i know so um that was just I feel like you should come out with a Superman sticker on or something, or a Wonder Woman sticker when you've got a double jab. When Peter went for his first jab, he got a sticker. I did. <gasps> did he? Yeah, a bit like a blood doning sticker. But he's, you know, I've, I've had my first jab, you know. 
I thought, oh, oh it's all right for you. <laughs> <laughs> Did he charm the nurse? Is it something? I don't know. I, I think it was just one of these bigger venues that had, you know. Oh, right. They had more. In one, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the support stuff. But, um, yeah, so what about you? Are you going to carry on with your commission? I am. I am um, four layers in. I'm happy to say it's got layers and layers and layers and there's some nice textures coming through. So I'm really happy with that um, and different colours coming through. So I'm going to carry on with that. I think perhaps another week or two on it. And, and I'm hoping that it'll be virtually done then. Um, and I also have to prep for the exhibition at the weekend. So I'm going to pack everything neatly and write a big old list and see if I can stick to it <laughs> to remember oh, things. Remember tablecloths. Oh, yeah. Tablecloths, um, blue tack. Because when you're actually doing, and when you do your labels, this is just something you should know for that venue, the walls are stone, so you can't stick anything on the stone. So you need uh, to, be able to stick them onto the reverse of a painting. So I always do these type. I'll just show you. And so I'll cut out like that sort of shape. And then if the painting is here, I'll stick mm -hmm. it behind. Like ah, that. so it sits underneath. It's underneath. Nice. Otherwise, they drop a bit. If you do it from just a little bit, they drop. So it'll get all a bit cathide, you know, cathide. So, um, yeah. So yes, it's stone, stone walls, beautiful barn, stone bits. It is, it's, it's, it's absolutely. not sticking anything on walls. So, um, no, yes, yes, that's very, very wise. I will be doing that then. Thank you. Great advice. Right, my darling. Right, yeah. Take well, happy prepping and I will see you on Saturday. Exactly. And uh, we'll be love to everybody else. Yeah. Take care. Bye. Bye.